What is gonna drop ducks better, fast steel or heavy steel? It is time to find out. Hey, George back with the new hunter's guide and today we're gonna test my two favorite steel loads. We've got Kent Fast Steel against Heavy Shots Heavy Steel. These things have performed exceptionally well in the past. I've done a lot of videos with them, but now we're gonna put them together head to head. Now the specs on these are as such. We've got the Fast Steel, which comes in a three inch shell, one and a quarter ounces of number four zinc plated steel shot going at 1500 feet per second. And then we've got the heavy steel, which is also a three inch shell, one and a quarter ounces of shot, traveling at 1500 feet per second of number four steel. They're, they're the same, they're identical. There's, there's nothing different between these shells. They are the exact same specs to the final point, except that the fast steel is zinc plated and the heavy steel is marketing plated. Wait, what? Well, a lot of people think that heavy steel, this stuff right here, is some sort of magic heavy shot blend of steel and something else. But guys, it is not. It is steel, pure steel, nothing but steel. To be 100% sure, I called heavy shot and I asked them, I said, hey, is your heavy steel just steel or is there some other kind of magic in there too? And they said, nope, that's 100% steel, nothing else, that is our steel load. So today we're gonna test these two almost identical loads and a pattern test and a ballistics gel test, both at 40 yards. And to do that, we're gonna use my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel and a Carlson Sporting Clays Extra Full Choke. Now for those people whose brains just exploded, Extra Full is a great choke to use for number four steel. I'll link to a video at the end here that I did testing steel shot number fours through a variety of choke tubes and Extra Full came out on top. I'll also link to a video I did on copper and zinc plating, what it does and why it matters. But today we're gonna put these things to the test. Let's head down to the range. We're down at the range. I got my eye protection, Petra's in for ear protection, and we're gonna lead off with the fast steel at 40 yards. Next shot's the heavy steel. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Kent Fast Steel and this Heavy Steel. Let's start with the Kent. So right there you can see guys, really good pattern, very dense. Over to the Heavy Steel, also exceptionally good pattern, a little bit different position. All right guys, I'm gonna count every single pellet in the densest part of a 30 inch circle and get you guys the data. But first, it's time to shoot some ballistics gel. I've got the ballistics gel set up at 40 yards and we'll see what the fast steel does. Now we're going to flip the gel around and shoot the heavy steel. And the reason why we flip the gel is because we need to be able to see the shots where they came in because these can look pretty similar inside of the gel. And now for the heavy steel. All right guys, we're gonna go take a look at the gel, but first I need to let you know, neither of these companies are sponsoring this video, nobody is, but I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button to help it reach more people. And if you like videos like this, kicking the tires on assumptions and field tests, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. All right, let's see what happened. All right guys, this gel is pretty cool. You can actually see the fast steel pretty clearly. That zinc coating really gives it a little bit of a shine, which is a great thing, but did it impact performance? We'll take a look. From left to right, you've got the fast steel. Looks like about three inches today. And then from right to left, we've got the heavy steel. And uh, they both look like about three inches. So which one wins? Well, I think it's too close to call by sight. It often is. So I'm gonna measure and count every single pellet and then give you guys the averages with all the data here momentarily. Now that was a fun test, but guys, I have run the numbers and I don't think you're gonna be shocked on this one. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got the Kent Fast Steel 190 pellets in a 30 inch circle, 79% pattern density. And then we've got the Heavy Steel, 
which is 192 pellets with an 80% pattern density. So the heavy steel actually came out on top 1%, one single percent more pellets on paper. These loads were basically identical. Now guys, we could run the test again and it could go the other way, one or 2%. There's pretty much nothing definitive we can say here. We had 1% more pattern. And if we look at the ballistics gel test, also a bit anticlimactic, we see 2.86 inches of penetration for the fast steel versus the heavy steel with 2.91 inches of penetration. So the heavy steel actually came out on top 2%, that's two, 2% 2 more penetration than the fast steel and one entire percent more pattern. Now, guys, like I said, we could repeat the test. That could be rounding error. We could run it again. It could go the other direction. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. These two shells are identically matched. Basically no difference. Now, out of your gun and your choke tube, you could see a difference. So always pattern everything you want to do. Now, also, we should mention the price tag for these two shells. Both of them are that's right identical you can buy them for the exact same price depending on where you go some places it could be a little more a little less but i priced them this morning before doing this test and they were the same so what's better fast steel or heavy steel well, depending on your choke tube, probably identical. Buy whichever one you could find. The only advantage that the Kent Fast Steel might have is it's got that zinc plating, which may help it reduce corrosion in the field. Now, I actually would have expected the Kent to do a little bit better because it is zinc plated, but there are other variables here. We don't know what kind of shot cups were being used. We don't know what the real velocity actually was. It could be that the Kent did perform better, but the heavy shot was actually moving a little bit faster. Faster, we just don't know but in terms of what matters in the field they're pretty much the same so what you need to do next is go ahead and click on this video right here about plated shot and why it matters and then click on this video right here looking at what happens when we run steel shot through several different choke tube constrictions guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you God bless you and go get them in the woods